What is up YouTube? I've decided to make a video about the best books for radiology and learning radiology because you guys have constantly asked me what books I use. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first and foremost, this is a solid book. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's called Learning Radiology. Um, I actually met, met this guy, William Herring, on an interview one time. Um, anyways, this was a solid book. I read this in med school. It really gives you the basics about pretty much every imaging modality. And uh, it's a solid resource for med students who just want to learn a little more about radiology. It just gives you a good insight into the whole field. and a lot of imaging modalities. So this is a solid resource right here. The other basic, I say basic loosely, but this is just a solid book as well. Um, I'm gonna say that a lot, solid. Felsen's Principles of Chest Rankinology or Chest Radiology. Um, this is like an old version, but this book is also excellent. Uh, it's just purely about chest x-rays um, and really gives you the basics. Another good, good um, book for med students it's also a good book for first year residents who are starting out trying to learn chest radiography. Um, easy to understand, easy to learn, good resource, Felsen's. And while we're on the topic of chest, this is the more advanced book. Um, this was recommended to me by my attending, Thoracic Imaging, um, who is it by? By Richard Webb and Higgins. This book, this is fantastic. I think thoracic imaging can be pretty difficult. There's a lot of challenging concepts at first, and if you're really trying to dive in deep, this is a this is excellent book. I highly recommend it. It's very well written. It's very easy to read. If you read all this, all the chapters in this book, you're gonna know what to do. You can almost teach yourself chest radiology or thoracic imaging by this book. So if you're intermediate, high level radiology resident or chest fellow or cardiothoracic fellow, this is the book. This is a go-to. All right, so the next book um, that I recommend is this Basics or Fundamentals of Body CT by, I think it's also by, no, a different web, Richard Webb. Um, this, this book is perfect for someone who's just starting out on their uh, body CT rotation um, in residency and they need to learn how to read a body CT. It's also good for people who just wanna learn how to read a body CT or wanna get a little better at it. So this is perfect book for that. I read it before my rotation and felt like it covered every basic topic you would ever want or ever need. For pediatric imaging, this book is phenomenal. Uh, it's by Donnelly, Lane Donnelly. They tell us to read this our first year, or our first rotation on pediatrics, and it pretty much goes through everything you would ever want to know about pediatrics. Um, it's probably good for pediatricians too, uh, or pediatric residents but it's really, 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 really good for your first pediatric rotation and your second pediatric rotation for that matter. All right, so the next uh, book I recommend is this um, Mayo Clinic Gastrointestinal Imaging Review. Uh, it's basically for anybody who has to do floral procedures or floral guided procedures, um, bear and swallow, you know, small bowel follow through, upper GI study, uh, et cetera. This is, this is probably like the Bible of fluoro Everybody uses it. Um, even though fluoro is kind of antiquated these days after the advent of CT and MR, um, but we still do a lot of barren swallows and upper GI studies, and this book is where it's at. It's also tested on board, so you kind of have to know it. All right, switching gears to neuro. So this book, um, I read this before I started call and before I did my neuro rotation. It's a great refresher. You can read it in like 30 minutes or an hour. Um, it probably saved me because I never forget I, my first ever time on call, first day on call, I had this super bad head CT. It's my very first day. But I read this book the night before my call shift because I was kind of nervous and I felt so confident reading it. So, Interpretation of Emergency Head CT. This is by Holmes. Um, I'll link all these books in the description below, by the way, in case you want to look at them or buy them on Amazon. Um, this is a good book. Quick read, solid book. Um, in terms of other neuro books, there's the requisites. So 
So the requisites, they make a lot of uh, pretty good books for radiology. Um, this one for neuroradiology is pretty verbose, uh, but if you're going to go into the field of neuroradiology, I recommend this. I started reading it, but it was a little too much. Uh, so I just kind of switched to something a little more um, low key, if you will. So let's get to my favorite book of all time. This is what I read almost daily. Um, this is Core Radiology. This book right here, it has all information of every different subspecialty of radiology. I could not recommend this book enough. If you get one book, it'll be this. You have to read it. Don't forget it, Core Radiology. It's a big red book, it's really thick. All right, so the other book that's a must have for all radiology residents, especially for boards, this is essentially the first aid for radiology. It's called Crack the Core. The core exam is our board exam we take during our uh, fourth year residency. Um, this is essentially just like bulleted points throughout entire radiology subspecialties. It's two volumes of really thick books, but it's straight to the point. All you need to know, memorization tools, and he's kind of funny. Um, a lot of people have commented when I show images of this book on certain things is they really like the format of it. So this book is also highly recommended. It's it's not even I don't even highly I don't even highly recommend it. It's you have to have it if you're a radiology resident. Period. All right, now let's switch gears over to interventional radiology. Uh, I actually read. No wait, this isn't even it. So remember I was speaking about that requisites company they make all these good books for every different uh, radiology especially this one the requisites vascular and interventional radiology this is a really good book as well it's a little on the verbose side of things so that's not really my style um, but I, I do recommend it there are a few other ones um, like the handbook of IR which I don't know if I have on here oh, I'm sorry that the IR survival guide this one's by David Kessel um, and then there's also an IR handbook which I use last but not least I can't forget my nuclear medicine peeps. So for the nuclear med folks out there, and for anybody who's taking radiology boards, nuclear medicine imaging by Mettler. Don't forget that. This guy, he did it right. And this is, I mean, you have to read this on your nuclear medicine rotation, and it's some high yield stuff in here for boards. I think that's about it. I went through a whole bunch of books. I'll put a link in the description below, and you can look at all the different books if you want. Uh, if this is helpful, let me know. If it's not, let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. See ya.